Okay, so we have this. Next question. So a barrel contains 0 0.12 meters layer of oil floating on water that is 0 0.25 meters deep. Okay? So the density of the oil is 600 kilograms per meter cube. Now what is the gauge pressure of the oil water interface? And what is the gauge pressure at the bottom of the barrel? Now to solve this problem, okay, so we have here a drawing, okay, a representation of the barrel that it contains 0 0.12 meters layer of oil. Now we all know that uh, the oil is less dense compared to water. In fact, based on values, the density of oil is 600 kg per meter cube, while water, as we all know, is 1000 kg per meter cube. Okay? So, sugat natin yan. So, for the solution, okay, density of water is actually equal to 1000 kg per meter cube. So, in this case, water goes down, the oil yung nasa ibabaw, because it is less dense. Okay? Now, sabi dito, 0 0.12 meters layer of oil. So, meaning, from here up to here, this is 0 0.12 meters. Okay? Now, and the water is 0 0.25 meters deep. Okay? So, from here up to here, this is 0 0.25 meters deep. Okay? Meters. Okay? So, what is the gauge pressure of the oil-water interface? Now, to solve this problem, itong letter A, gauge pressure yung hinahanap. Okay? So, the gauge pressure, the formula for gauge pressure is actually Okay, P gauge, and the gauge pressure is equal to force divided by area. So, kung napanood niyo yung mga previous videos natin, we actually stated there that pressure is just equal to the force divided by the area. And if you try to look at the given, wala kang makikita dito na force na naka-Newton. So, let's derive the formula for the gauge pressure. Okay? We know that force is mass times gravity. Okay? So, magiging mass times gravity divided by the area. But still, wala kang makikitang mass dito except for the unit of the density which is kilogram per meter cube. So to solve for mass using the density, okay? So density is equal to mass over volume. So cross multiplying this one sa kabila, we will get that density times the volume is equal to the mass. And we will substitute that here's equation natin, okay? So substituting Okay? So ngayari P gauge is equal to density times volume times gravity divided by area. Okay? Now, we have time density, volume, gravity, at area. Now, volume, for example, in this case, this is a barrel. So, alam natin that barrel is in the shape of a cylindrical in shape. Okay? Now, to get the volume of a cylinder, alam natin that this this is its area, okay? So, volume is equal to area of the base times the height. Since the area of the base is a, a circle, so this will become pi r squared times height. So, ito, substitute natin dito sa equation natin dito. So, magiging gauge pressure is now equal to density times area times height, which is the volume, density times volume, times gravity, divided by the area. And looking at this equation, okay, area will be cancelled out, leaving us with gauge pressure equal to density times gravity times height, which is kung na-remember nyo sa previous video natin is actually ginamit na natin ito doon, but uh, hindi natin uh, alam saan yun galing. So actually, the so dito yung pag-derive ng formula na yun is ito. Okay? Now, knowing this one, so palitan natin yung drawing, sabi natin dito gauge pressure is equal to force divided by the area. Yung force dito, Okay? So, for example, what is the gauge pressure of the oil water interface? This is the interface. Yung force acting on this one is actually coming from the oil only. Or, labot, or hindi kasama yung water. Kasi yung water, yung force ng water is directed downwards. Okay? So, in this case, the gauge pressure at the interface is actually only involving the oil. Okay? So, to solve for the gauge pressure, for letter A, gauge pressure of the oil-water interface, we can solve this by the density of oil times gravity times the height of oil. So, this is, sabi sa problem, 600 kilogram per meter cube times the gravity, which is, which is 9.8 meters per second squared, times the height ng oil, which is 0 0.12 meters, so which gives us okay, 600 times 9.8 times 0.12. 
12 meters. 705.6. Okay. 705.6. Now again, it's very important to be careful with the unit. Okay. So here, this one, yung kilogram meter per second squared is actually equivalent to the unit of Newton. Now this meter cube and meter, okay, this meters ibaba will be cancelled. Ito mababawasan ng isa. Leaving us with meter squared. So therefore, the unit here is 705.6 Newton per meter squared is equal to 705.6 Pascals. Okay? So yan. Oh, now, so na solve natin yung letter A. So this is now actually our answer for letter A. Now how do we solve for letter B? What is the, what is the gauge pressure at the bottom of the barrel? Now again, looking at the drawing, okay, dito, magikita natin that at the bottom, there are two forces acting. The force applied by the oil, at the same time the force applied by the water. So in this case, the gauge pressure at bottom is actually equal to the gauge pressure of water plus the gauge pressure The gauge pressure of oil. Okay. So, na solve na natin kanina. So, lagyan natin ng O para consistent tayo. Okay. So, this will become, so yung hindi na natin nakuha dito is yung gauge pressure ng water. So, it's just the same. Density ng water, rho GH, density ng water, height ng water, plus this one which is, na solve na natin kanina, 705.6 pascals. Now, this one, 1,000 kilogram per meter cube density ng water times 9.8 meter per second square times the height ng water which is 0 0.25 meters plus this one <coughs> now it will be equal to 1000 times 9.8 times 0.25 okay it's 2450 pascals plus 705.6 pascals. Okay, so plus 705.6, leaving us with the total pressure at the bottom, which is equal to 3155.6 pascals. So this is now <coughs> our answer for letter B. Okay, so that is all for this video. If you have questions, you may comment down below. And if you have other questions that you want to get answered, you may also post it on the comment section. Thank you for watching this video.